Now, you can imagine, for those of you that know, that I've been enjoying the hell out of these past several weeks and even last few months watching as the AEW fans come to a realization, as the AEW fans start to understand that Cody Rhodes is not somebody to cheer. Cody Rhodes is not a babyface. Cody Rhodes is not likable, is not somebody you want to get behind, and therefore does not deserve your support. It's been fascinating to watch this play out. And it came really to a crescendo there in New York at Arthur Ashe Stadium, didn't it? Holy shit. They let it be known that that's Malachi Blackstown, not Cody Rhodes. And they gave him the type of Bronx cheer that the Cody Rhodes person and character absolutely, completely, totally merit and deserve. Now, unlike the majority of the people that talk about anything with AEW, we know the Meltzer Magoos and the Alvarezes and so forth of the world, too busy nuzzling up to their buddies and being buddy-buddy to actually do real journalism, I am actually going to disclose my bias for those of you that might not be aware. Cody Rhodes and I had a tit for tat on Twitter, I believe it was back in like February-ish, 2018. You can fact check me on the time, so I'm pretty sure that's accurate. And it came around because he said something, and I think it was Julius Wright, you turd. Yeah, I might have the name wrong, but I think it was you, turd. It was turd. No, you're not a turd. Um, where he said something about the WWE. I don't even remember all of it. I'm trying to get the context as much as I can. But something about how the WWE doesn't, bury people or sabotage people and that sometimes people are looking to complain and I said you know it was a very you know I respect Cody Rhodes something like I respect Cody Rhodes or I like his work but he knows he's full of shit on this one and to be clear we all know he is to sit there and say that WWE doesn't sabotage people doesn't bury people is fucking dumb we all know this is true and Cody does and it was an rem important reminder about when somebody has a platform, no matter how full of shit they are, a lot of people just are not going to call them to task on it. Very important lesson to be learned there. Because now you have all of those people that are watching AEW will talk about a WWE sabotages and undercuts people. Like for Christ's sakes, even back then, Meltzer Magoo was talking about how stupid that was. Meltzer, for God's sakes. Like that's when you know it's bad. So, I don't like him. He's insecure. He's a fucking liar. It's not the only time that he's been proven to be full of shit, even when his own previous words were brought against him. That was The bottom line is, you can imagine, I love seeing this turn for the AEW fans as they start to realize, I don't like fucking Cody Rhodes either. You shouldn't. There are no real redeemable qualities here. And as a result, I look at this from a business standpoint. And the one thing you can say about me with a couple of very notable exceptions that have been earned is that even when I don't like somebody, even when I think their character is stupid, even when I think their work is shit, even when I think they're boring and vanilla as hell, if I see the opportunity to do something different, to make money, to do better for that company or that business, I'm going to talk about it. I'm not a huge fan of Darby Allen his shtick. I think it's dumb. But that doesn't mean that I would bury the guy. You don't even hear me say a ton of really critical stuff about him, do you? Because the fact is, there's something there, at least for the audience, that he resonates with. That's something. But Cody Rhodes has to stop being so stubbornly stupid here. This is not just a matter of the fans dictating it and if you cave in, the fans get their way. No, this is about being connected to reality, which is a problem for both Cody and Brandy, his wife, alike. It's about being connected with reality, understanding where the money is to be made, and doing the right thing for business for everybody else, up to and including himself and his wife. And that is to turn heel. Go Hollywood. Don't hide from it. Don't try to shame it. Don't try to get away from it. Embrace it. The old embrace the hate shit. Now, that's exactly what the hell Cody Rhodes should do. 
Because honestly, what the fuck is there from a personal or character standpoint that is redeemable or likable? Even as one of the EVPs, one of the founders of AEW, he's a square peg in a round fucking hole with Omega in the Bucks. Like, he doesn't fit with that crew. He's a WWE type of guy. We all know that. He's doing what he can in AEW, but the, the, the strong style, the ROH, New Japan style is not Cody Rhodes. It just isn't. Which is some of the appeal potentially for him, if done right, is that he can represent, represent something different. He could be a little bit counterculture. But the whole thing is, he's not part of that clique. He's not part of that group. So you already have one reason that some of the hardcore AEW fans will not like him because they're not going to view him as one of them. He comes out to the ring, acknowledging at times that he's one of the EVPs. Again, a fucking authority figure. Why the hell would anybody want to like the authority figure? Who the fuck likes authority figures? Who the hell likes their bosses? You know what I mean? He comes out and he's got this whole nightmare family shit. So he'll bring out Arn and he'll bring out Dustin and he'll bring out Brandy and this whole goddamn entourage. And there is absolutely nothing redeemable or likable about that. He's got a beautiful wife which naturally, traditionally, means that when you're bringing that young lady out to the ring with you, you are bringing her because you want to use her as a heater. You want to get heat on you because you want to piss off the fans and say, ha, this is the type of woman I could get, and you can't. Ding dong, dumb dick, that means heel. And that's before Brandy even opens up her dumbass mouth and says some of the stupid shit she does and tweets out the virtue signal bullshit these half-twisted-ass things that she does, and then as soon as she gets backlash, because yet again, she tweeted out something as the chief brand officer, mind you. Gee, I wonder how the fuck she got that job. <sighs> then she goes and deletes it. You've got the hot chick. Another reason fans won't like you. And then, whenever she does shit or opens her mouth, people know why the hell she's in her position, let's just be honest. Clearly. Because what in her resume suggests that she has the qualifications to be a chief brand officer? Give me a fucking break. And when you see the way that she conducts herself via social media alone, it is very clear that this is not a job that is well suited for her. So yet another reason to not like you, not like her, not like you together, but yet you try to go against the grain. You do dumb shit like doing this whole fucking... I'm going to be an American type of crap where the only thing that's worse than a liberal or a goddamn conservative is a fucking moderate. And that stupid promo you cut during that run with a go-go was one of the worst abortions that AEW has ever put out there. And you're trying to sit there and paint yourself as some type of all-American hero, motherfucker. You're second generation, so you got a lot of opportunities because of your family name. You pretend and act like you're not trying to just coast off of your brother and your fucking dad, yet you sit there and dye your hair just like them, sit there and pretend it in the past again because you're a liar and full of shit, talking about how you didn't care about using the Rhodes name, but lo and behold, made sure that you started using it as soon as you fucking could. Why? Because just like everything else involving Cody Rhodes, you can't believe anything he fucking says because he's full of shit. Again, more reasons to not like him, which is more reasons for him to turn heel. He tried to portray himself as this out-of-touch babyface, not as some type of parody heel like Kurt Angle when he first started in WWF back in the late 90s. Like, Kurt Angle was trying to present himself as a babyface, and really, all the while, it was a parody character. It was clearly heel. No, Cody actually buys into and to believes this bullshit. Sitting there propping up his wife, propping up his unborn child, as some talk about how he's for all of the people. Meanwhile, he's one of the faces of a place that I like to affectionately, not so affectionately refer to as hashtag all egg white wrestling. The next non-white world champ they'll have will be there first. For crying out loud. So you try to live off of the family legacy while pretending that you don't, although you totally do. 
everything about you. You've got the founder principles of like, hey, I've got this story with Malachi Black, so let's just randomly throw in some fucking Rosario Dawson shit that makes no goddamn sense. Why? Because I'm more focused on trying to be a TV star and do the TBS show and then pushing roads to the top and all this other crap. Again, nothing about this asshole is likable. From a personal standpoint or a professional wrestling standpoint. I'm surprised it took so many fans so long to realize, oh, he really is a chode. Oh, he really is an egomaniac. Oh, you know what? Yeah, fuck him. But now that we're here, now that we're here, can argue about how you get here, how much you're here. No, we're here, and we've been here. Frankly, been there since day one. You just spent two years trying to pretend like we're not. But now that Cody Rhodes is here, it presents a massive opportunity to do something interesting, to do something that this company really needs. They need somebody to be different. They need somebody that could be a fucking heat magnet. Look at how much better the product is because of the heat that MJF can generate. Now, now, picture this. As much as we talk about MJF, like that's largely kayfabe, on-screen type of stuff. Like for Cody Rhodes, there are sizable, significant wrestling and non-wrestling reasons to hate him. If Cody Rhodes truly wanted to go the Hollywood route, MJF could eat a fucking dick. He can't even measure up one-fifth of the heel of a villain that a freaking Cody Rhodes could be. Like, we know Brandy doesn't really have talent. Go with that. Push her in spite of that. Make the nepotism fucking obvious. Sit there, you're one of the EVPs. Everybody fucking knows it. So sit there and book yourself as it and run with it and go with it. You got Arn Anderson sitting there cutting a Glock promo on you. Instead of just sitting there, I'm going to fight against it because I want to rise above it. I don't want to cave and I'll turn heel over my dead body. Well, it's time to die, motherfucker, and resurrect yourself and do some of the best business of your damn career. The once, Ar once Arn Anderson sat there and made that Glock motion to your head, you were fucking done, R.I.P. buried as a baby face forever. If you can't see that, then you are intentionally sitting there with either your head in the ground or up your ass, potentially both. That's it. There is no comeback from that. The real reaction should have been is once he said that, you should have sat there and laid the motherfucker out and started the heel turn right there. Because now you're doing it to a legit legend like an Arn Anderson. But again, it just comes to the whole dynamics of how everything with Cody Rhodes is fucked up in terms of his presentation and I can't imagine for the life of me how this insecure ass dude can't see it. Now granted, he spent so many years being insecure and lying to everybody else, he also lies to himself, so he probably all types of disconnected from reality. But it's clear you'd rather use wrestling as a pathway and a gateway to do TV because you see yourself as some type of TV star, then embrace that. You see yourself as being better than and above the other EVPs and most of the rest of the shit on AEW. Great! Then embrace that! You see yourself as somebody that's carrying on the family legacy. Then great! You know what you should do? Do something different! Your daddy, the American Queen, Dusty Rhodes, was different and unique. Dustin Rhodes, Gold Dust, he found his own niche and he found a way to be unique the fuck have you done that's been unique in AEW other than show just how much of a raging, founder-like, egomaniac you can be? I'm going to do a vignette to do the big pregnancy reveal. We're going to bring her out and we're going to do a gender reveal. Like, everything about this speaks to egotism, narcissism. You could go on and on and on, self-absorbed. Great! It's better when people can believe it. And if you go with that shit, the fans overwhelmingly are going to believe it. You will instantly be AEW's most overheal. Like I said, fucking MJF. The other members of the elite, you say, like, Cody says, oh, the Young Bucks and Omega are already heel. No, they don't know how to fuck to really be heels. But Cody? Cody does. Cody can. 
Because it's so close to true to life. Why in the hell would you fight against this? Take your wife that you try to throw out there as a prop. Use her at least as the type of prop that's going to get you heat. You've got a hot wife which is going to piss people off. And then let's be clear and let's be honest. When we talk about all egg white wrestling, you have a predominantly white fan base. You still have a section of them that are going to be bothered with the fact that you're married to a black woman and you have a biracial kid. Flaunt that. Do something with that. Make money off that. You want to sit there and be in TV and be in movies and be in Hollywood instead of wrestling? You know what, dude? I frankly can't fucking blame you. Run with that. Go with that. Let your ego run wild. Be the lying, self-centered, insecure son of a bitch that we all know you to be. That's what this company needs. There's too much feel-good shit in terms of, oh, CM Punk is back, hooray, cool. Brian Danielson's back, he's here in AEW, yay, yes, cool. Adam Cole, he's supposed to be aligned with the heels, but we're so happy to see him, yay, bang. This company needs a true, real deal, legit top villain that they can get behind. They haven't fully gotten all the way behind MJF. Kenny Omega is absolutely not a top heel. If you think that Kenny Omega as a world champion could be a better heel world champion than a fucking Cody Rhodes, you're insane! Too many of you like Kenny Omega no matter what the hell crap he does for him to ever be that level of true money-making, money-drawing heel. Cody Rhodes, on the other hand, absolutely fucking can't. I want to be like my daddy, but pretend I don't. All the lying and bullshit. The acting like an insecure, self-centered asshole. The shit with his wife and how she always likes to sit there and make these half-assed arguments that are misleading as fuck. And then when she gets taken to task for him, time after time after time. Oh my God, it's too much. I got to delete the tweet. Oh my God, I got to run away. Like, that's the epitome of that millennial bullshit that a lot of people don't like. Run with that. You're not all the way liberal. You're not all the way the conservative. You're the worst thing of all. You're a moderate right in the middle. Run with that. Try to toe the line and please everybody. And as a result, please absolutely no fucking buddy. That's basically what the hell you're already doing anyways. Like if AEW wants to grow, and to be clear, they should want to grow. You should not just be trying to appeal to the audience that you already have. That is dumb, bad business and will eventually be a recipe for disaster. You should want to grow. You should want to make your audience bigger. You should want to draw more fans to larger arenas. And frankly, for the fans that don't like that, then what the fuck fan are you? How dare you sit there and try to minimize or limit the amount of money that these guys and gals in AEW can fucking make? What the hell type of fan are you? I don't know. You can't sit there and keep bringing in people all the time and expecting that to always pop the ratings. You can't always sit there and run all these gimmicky shows and bullshit. Eventually, that's going to run its course and you're going to continue to get a minimal return. You need things that are more substantial, more significant, more deep-seated and long-lasting. Cody Rhodes as a heel on an 18 to 24-month run like that absolutely can move the needle for you a little bit. Give you somebody to hate at the top that everybody can get behind. Imagine him going up against a Hangman Page. Imagine him going up against a CM Punk. Imagine him going up against a Brian Danielson. Imagine him going up against an Adam Cole. Imagine him going up against a Powerhouse Hobbs. Imagine him going up against a Darby Allen. Now that the dynamics are different. Imagine him going up against a Ricky Starks where Starks is the babyface and Cody's the heel. Like I could go on and on. Like The possibilities are endless here. If Cody doesn't want to do it, then it is up to Tony Khan to sit him down and do some Nick Khan style shit. I don't know what the hell he's got to do, but he's got to talk some sense into him. Stop being stubbornly stupid. Stop denying yourself of the best possible outcome. Stop denying the fans and the product of AEW as a whole the best possible outcome. Turn heel. Embrace the hate, Cody. Do it fucking now.